understand this hodling thing. I, but that's okay. You can I ask mean, BK you know, a question. Can I, can I ask BK yes, a question? Please. So BK, so Bitcoin as we stand here is 8,500. A year ago, you know exactly where it was. I guess my question to you is, are we looking at the price action through the wrong prism? I know you can't counterfactual stuff and it did trade 20,000, but from point A to B a year ago, the move in this, despite the sell-off, has been quite staggering. You would have signed up for this, my sense, a year ago. So are we looking, are we looking at it incorrectly, I guess? Well, you know, that's a good point, Guy, because a year ago, uh, I had a price target for Bitcoin of 2500 or so, uh, and that was Bitcoin was below 1000 and I was, you know, a little shaky about even putting that out there. So you're right, and, and I think that is also what's going on as part of the sell-off here. Remember, there are a lot of people who made an awful lot of money over the last year riding Bitcoin from below 1000 up here, riding Ethereum. From from seven dollars up to twelve hundred or even to even six hundred today, uh, they've made an awful lot of money. And then add into that the little pesky thing called taxes, and you're going to have to do some tax selling here. So I think you're right, guy. I mean, just, uh, coming back a bit and looking at where this asset has been, it's still performing quite well. All right, BK, we're going to let you go. Safe travels. Thank you. So it's very interesting um, and a great perspective of if you have got into this market. Unfortunately, most people that got into this market is when we were at the top of the market. That's why the market was so overvalued. So for me personally, I got in in July. So my first crypto purchase of Bitcoin was in the 4,000, maybe 4,500 range. So I'm still looking good. Obviously, if you're... Before that, if you were able to buy it under a thousand, you know these prices are still gravy on top. If you did buy it for a thousand, you're still up, you know, eight times, nine times on your investment. And an interesting thing to consider too is the long-term capital gains tax. You have to hold your crypto assets for over a year. If you've been watching this channel, I've been stressing this. So that's a way to kind of put this in perspective. I know a lot of people are like, oh my god, you know, cryptos are so volatile. You know, you can lose half your money. I mean, yes, that's true if you're buying at the top of the market. But if you follow this channel, I've brought up the idea of dollar cost averaging. And if you're implementing that kind of strategy where you're not just buying all at once, you're spreading out your buys, I still see a lot of promise in this market. But obviously, a big part of investing is timing. And I don't have a crystal ball. Maybe you you have a crystal ball where you can predict this stuff. But... If you are buying at the lows or these dips, um, I think that there's a lot of opportunity and you just have to look at the long-term picture. And I love the uh, sign or the headline that they were showing, which I think when you do have these market crashes, you got to keep calm and huddle. Um, but I would even just take it to the next step. What Warren Buffett and a lot of savvy investors say is... Uh, you want to buy so you can hodl especially if you're tight on funds but for me personally uh, this dip over the weekend I saw how much ethereum was getting crushed and I uh, picked up a good amount I mean I started buying unfortunately once it went under 700 I thought it was a good deal but I didn't do big purchases in the in the 600 range I did make a significant purchase of ethereum in the 500 range and if it does drop to 400 or 300 I have money in orders that would uh, hit so I would say if you do have that kind of experience and comfort that's where you want to be buying and uh, if you're not comfortable or you know you don't understand the technology you know use this channel use YouTube to educate yourself and the best thing you can do is hodl uh, the worst thing you can do is sell so let me know what you guys did in this market. I did a good amount of buying and uh, li love to hear your guys' opinions. And if you have a chance, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching and I will talk to you guys soon.